this is Sandro Milesi with Gaffer Braking Systems. And I'm Robert. Today we're going to be showing you how to change the brake pads on a rear ATV. Um, we're using a TRX uh, 250, but uh, the sequence is always the same. The first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to take the caliper out, and then we're going to remove the brake pads from the stock caliper. Okay, in this case, this caliper has two pins, so we're just going to take the pins out. This might be also a good time to do a little bit of uh, house cleaning. You might uh, want to get a little rag and clean the pins. They have uh, a little bit of brake dust, sometimes a little bit of wear. If they're seriously worn out, you might want to just replace them. They're not that expensive. Taking the pins out, rubber has loosened up the caliper, so we just Remove the caliper slowly and take the brake pads out. Now, same thing goes here. If your pistons are very dirty, then you want to get a little bit of a toothbrush and brake clean and just simply clean around them. How do you know if your pistons are very dirty? I mean, you're only seeing part of it. You can go ahead and you can pump on the brake lever a little bit and your pistons will come out. Once you see that your pistons are dirty or not, then you go ahead and clean them if necessary. Um, do remember, you gotta push the pistons back down. Okay. The pistons pushed all the way in. Um, if your pistons are not pushing in easily with your hand, you can always use a screwdriver and just perch down, you know. But once the pistons are all the way down, you're going to go ahead and put the new brake pads on. Um, put the pins back on the system. Do make sure that the brake pads are sitting in, in the proper position. This is one of the big things about changing brake pads is that we don't want to rush ourselves and we want to make sure that we're putting it all right back where it belongs. You don't want to have a brake pad drop on you when you while you're riding. Okay. Now, your brake pads might be not allowing you to go back onto the rotor. So what you want to do is you want to get a get a screwdriver and you want to push behind the backing plate and down onto the towards the piston. What it's doing, it's pushing the piston back inside and allowing you for some cavity space to get back onto the rotor, just like so. You drop it back onto the rotor and you're ready to go. All you have to do now is bolt everything back up. How should we break in new brake pads? You want to ride the brake pads right at the beginning. Very easy, just light on the brakes. The pads need to sit onto the new rotor surface and you have to make sure that you're not overheating them. Sometimes, if your rotor is pretty dirty, we suggest getting some 600 grit paper and clean the rotor. How would you do that on this system? You just get 600 grit and spin it, spin it, spin it until you clean the surface up. 